All right, let's take a look at what happens when we have something to the fourth power now. So we're just going up in degree even more. Well, this is we're gonna, gonna require uh, just one little tweak on, on a method we've already used. And what I mean by that is, is we're just gonna rewrite this. We're gonna rewrite this as, let me show you, x squared squared minus five uh, let me let me recolor this I apologize for holding you up so this is x squared then let me write this squared minus five and then I'm gonna write this as x squared plus six okay so why did I, I rewrite it like this with these parentheses well now it looks a lot more like what we're used to so let me just just simply make a substitution this is just for illustration purposes you don't actually have to do this uh, in practice but let me just say this letter U so this is just a, a new letter and this letter U is going to be equal to X squared well now doesn't that mean that this this whole thing becomes u squared minus 5u not u the person but u the letter plus 6 hopefully you can see how that happens this idea that we're just letting u squared equal or sorry u equal x squared and and then these terms in parentheses are just x squared so those are really just u so let me erase this. This should be in, in white if we're really being particular about the color coding. And now we can factor this pretty easily. What are the factors of 6 that add up to negative 5? Well, we have negative 2, negative 3, and, and that's actually our, our answer right there. We could have done 6. 6 and 1 seems like it's going to work but really we would have negative 6 positive 1 this would add to negative 5 but it wouldn't multiply to positive 6 so it's going to be negative 2 negative 3 okay so when we factor this this will be u minus 2 times u minus 3 but hey wait a minute we started the problem in x's and we ended up in u's so let's just actually and in fact, maybe I should continue color coding these U's. Let me do that. Just so you could see the color coding the whole way through. So this is U minus 2 and U minus 3. That comes from this. That's an easy thing for us to factor. But like I said, we started the problem in X's and we ended up in U's. So let's switch back to X's. We know what U is equal to. It's equal to X squared. So this is really x squared minus 2 times by x squared minus minus 3 and that is our final answer that's our final answer okay now what is all this business with use if you've never seen it and or if it's confusing you then then you know don't don't worry about it let's just try it a different way Let's try a different example a different way. Let's try x to the fourth um, plus 5x plus 4. Oh, plus 5x squared. Okay, well, again, even if you don't think about these, this u thing, let's rewrite this as x squared. In fact, let me keep the color coding. I think that helps. x squared all squared plus 5 x squared plus 4 now if we want to factor this we have it looks a lot more like what we're used to which is x squared plus uh, plus bx plus c that's something we were familiar with factoring and that's this is what this kind of looks like so now we just are going to factor it with the 
The factors of 4 that add up to 5, well, that's just 1, positive 1, and positive 4. Multiply to positive 4, and they add to positive 5. Okay, so this is going to be... It's going to be something times 1, or plus 1, and something plus 4. What is that something? Well, that something is this is this term here. It's the x squared. Normally, that x squared is, is just a regular old x. But we, we had to rewrite it because we, we started with x to the fourth. So then we had x squared squared plus 5x squared plus 4. So this term here that, that we're really doing is, is x, x squared. And hopefully it makes sense to you that that needs to be an x squared because when we multiply, our highest degree must be this 4. And x squared times x squared gives us x to the fourth. Okay, so I hope this is is ringing a bell or, or clicking with you in a certain way. And let's look at one more example quickly. What if we had, maybe it won't be so quick, let me give you something difficult. Let's say x to the fifth plus uh, plus 7x to the 4th. So I'm giving us really uh, almost cheesy examples in a, certain, in a certain type of sense. But what if we had this? Well, first thing we do is, is take an x out of the whole thing. So this is x times x to the 4th plus 7x. Oh, this should have been not 5, but 3. Sorry about that. plus 6, uh, x squared plus 6. And now we can factor this by doing it as x times, then we have x squared, that's going to be squared, uh, plus x squared. So let me fill in the blanks here. This is squared plus 7, x squared plus 6. And now we can factor this. What are the factors of six that positive six that add to positive seven? Well, just positive one and, and positive six. We add those, we get seven. And we this whole thing works out to be x times x squared plus one times x squared plus six. So I hope that you see where all of this is coming from. And, and eventually you'll realize that factoring is not a pain at all. It's actually one of the easier things that you'll, you'll end up doing. E easier in terms of, not in terms of the, the concept, how difficult it is to understand, but in terms of just being able to actually compute it. Or no, sorry, flip exactly what I just said. In terms of being able to understand what to do, this will be one of the easier things. Maybe in terms of computing, like actually figuring out how, how to factor a certain expression, sometimes they might get you know, a little bit messy and require some extra work. But this is the, these are the basic tools uh, to factor from here on out. Okay, see you in the next video.